Hi everyone, welcome to your Studio Pilates mat work class. We've got a really fantastic one coming up today. We're gonna work a little bit of everything, but let's get started with some abdominals. First one is hundreds preparation. So lying down on the back, extend the arms up towards the sky, imprint the spine, and take the legs up into tabletop position. We're going to exhale as we curl up, stretch the legs, arms go down beside you, and then inhale as we lower back down. So that's an exhale to curl and stretch, and an inhale to slowly lower back down. And let's continue there. So when we curl up, we stretch our legs. We think ribs to the hips, so that we're really curling up high. Good guys, to make this one easier, I want you to extend your legs upwards, okay? And if your back is starting to bother you, that's exactly what you wanna do. To work a little harder though, I want you to curl up and stretch your legs lower away from you. That will challenge your abdominals even more. However, just double check that your spine always remains imprinted. We don't wanna feel any arching in the lower section of the back. Good, now use your exhale breath to curl up because that's the hardest part. Inhale as you lower down. Fantastic guys. Think about scooping out that belly, flattening out the stomach, and you'll begin to feel it working really soon. I can already feel mine. Good, now reach through those fingers, reach beyond those hips. That will also help you curl up a little higher. Fantastic. Now, if you're starting to get a little bit tired or sore in the neck, that's no problems. You can leave your head down and just simply focus on ribs to the hips when you extend your legs and when you sweep your arms down. Good, lovely guys. You're doing really well. So can you come up a little bit higher? If possible, can you take your legs just a little bit lower? Good, because guys, I've got less than 20 seconds to go. So I want you to really focus on that strong rib to hip connection. Good, and let's do one more from now. So all of the way up and relax back down. Fantastic, guys. All right, let's do one more here. Double leg stretch preparation. Spine imprinted, legs in tabletop, arms up towards the sky. We're going to exhale to curl up and extend the legs and hold. Inhale, lift the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, sweep them beyond your hips. Inhale to raise, and then exhale to lower. Let's do one more, so doing sets of three. And come back to your start position, good. Let's continue with this one, guys. So when we curl up, we hold the curl, nothing moves except the arms. So we do three lifts and lowers while we hold the rib to hip connection. Beautiful. Now, there's two levels here. If you need to make it easier, or if your back is beginning to bother you a little bit, keep your legs in tabletop, and just do the same movement here. But if you want to challenge yourselves and work a bit harder, curl up, extend the legs. You can even take them a little bit lower, and then perform the exact same movement. Good. You can also make it harder by simply staying up and lifting and lowering your arms as many times as possible. Good. Now guys, let's keep the eye gaze directed on the thighs. Keep the chin nodding down towards the chest. Beautiful job. And see how high you can lift those shoulder blades up and off the mat. That's it guys. Up and down and back to the start position. Good, keep on going. So think exhale, curl up, ribs, two hips, nice and strong. Hold, lift the arms up. Slowly lower them down. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Good, and guys, let's do one more set, you ready? So exhale to curl up and hold. Inhale, take the arms up, exhale, lower them down. Inhale up, good guys. Let's do one more. And relax back down. Nice guys, really great job. Okay, we're still gonna work the abdominals, but we're gonna work the shoulders and the chest a little bit as well, because we're moving into a plank position. So, plank has two levels. You can stay on your knees and just lower your hips down, or you can pop up onto your toes instead. I'm gonna perform the level two version, so up, on, oh, up onto my toes, sorry. You choose what you're capable of, and let's get started. So, spiny neutral, T's on nice and tight. Jumping up into your plank position, level one or level two. Now hold. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. 
Good, everyone, and let's just hold this position. Now, the things we really need to focus on here, squeeze your bottom, tuck the pubic bone towards the belly button, and think ribs to hips as much as you can. That will help keep your back nice and safe, but it will also make sure your abdominals are working nice and strong. We don't wanna have our hips too low, otherwise our back, our back will arch. We don't want our hips too high, otherwise we won't be feeling anything. So, nice, beautiful diagonal line. Good. Now keep reaching through the crown of the head. We don't wanna look forwards. Just look between where your hands are on the mat. Good. Also think about pushing away from the floor, so not sagging down with the chest. Good, lovely guys. Lift up that T-zone, draw the belly button towards the spine, give the glutes another squeeze, and think about tucking under with that bottom just a little bit more. Less than 20 seconds to go, so stay here guys, don't drop down. If you're in position level one, I want you to try and go up onto your toes if possible. Let's hold for another five seconds, you ready? So five, four, three, two, and one. Good, excellent job guys. Let's stay in the same position and let's move into tricep circles. So now we're gonna start to tone and work the backs of our arms. So, kneeling on all fours, let's have our hands directly underneath the shoulders. Spine and neutral tears on nice and tight. We're going to bend the elbows, shift the body forwards, shoulders over the wrists, and then stretch the arms. So that was an inhale to bend, exhale, body comes forwards, shoulders over the wrists, and then stretch the arms straight. Good, and let's continue, let's have a chat about this one. So when we bend the elbows, the elbows point back to the thighs. Then our chest comes forwards, our shoulders stop over the wrists, and then we stretch our arms straight. Good, so we do need to have those elbows pointing back behind us because that will work the triceps nice and hard. You can probably already feel it. If we bend our elbows sideways, we won't be working our triceps. So let's maintain the focus of the exercise, point those elbows back to the thighs or towards those knees and continue with this circular movement. To make this one easier, just do little baby tricep circles instead to make it harder, I want you to make the tricep circles nice and big. So bend right down, sweep the body forwards, push up. So inhale to bend, bottom goes slightly back. Exhale to come forwards and then push up. Good, lovely guys. We haven't got too much longer to go. So I want you to make sure that you maintain those elbows squeezing in and pointing back behind you. Good, fantastic guys. Try and burn out the backs of the arms as much as you can. Good, lovely job. Let's do about three more, so ready? Bend, sweep forwards, push on up. Good job guys. Keep thinking ribs to the hips as well, so we're not arching in the back. And this is your last one. So bend, forwards, and up. Good. Lovely guys. All right, our next exercise, we're moving into some pelvic curls. So we're gonna tone the backs of our legs now. So lying down on the back, feet hip distance apart, spine is in neutral, our T-zone is on nice and tight. We're going to exhale, tuck the pubic bone towards the belly button, roll and ripple up, one vertebrae at a time, until your knees, your hips, and your shoulders create a nice diagonal line. Hold it there for a second, T-zone tighter, and then we're gonna exhale as we reverse the movement and roll back down one vertebrae at a time until we reach our start position. Good, and let's repeat again, guys. Let's keep on moving. So, you start this movement with a tuck and tilt, and then you feel one vertebrae at a time lift off your mat. Hold there for a second, think your T-zone engages a little bit more, and then just reverse the movement all of the way back down. Good. Now guys, you'll be feeling your glutes squeezing nice and hard and working, but you'll also feel the backs of your thighs, your hamstrings, working nice and hard here too. Just double check that when you do get to the top of your pelvic curl, we don't wanna go up too high. Because if we lift up too high, your back will arch. 
Okay, so that's why we just need the knees, hips and shoulders and a nice long line. Lovely, good. Alrighty guys, make this one your last one. Ready, squeeze your bottom, tuck under, then roll up, nice and slow. Hold it there for just a second. Tighten that T-zone, and then roll back down. Good, lovely guys. Okay, pelvic cow openings is your next exercise. So, let's tighten that T-zone once again. Exhale, tuck the pubic bone towards the belly button. Then roll on up. Remember, one vertebrae at a time. We're gonna hold here and do three openings. So we're going to exhale to open the legs, inhale to close, exhale to open, inhale to close. Let's do one more and close and then we roll back down. And then we're just gonna repeat that again. So off you go guys in your own time. The things that we wanna focus on with this exercise, holding the squeeze in the glutes as we open and close the legs. We don't want our hips moving up and down with this one. To make it easier, you don't need to stay up for three openings. You can stay up for one or two and then come back down. To make it harder, try and stay up for as many openings as possible. Good. I can feel my glutes working, I can feel my hamstrings working. And guys, they're not a huge opening. We don't want to roll onto the outside edges of our feet. Okay, just a little open and then bring the knees back to parallel every time. Good. All right, keep using that breath. Exhale, rolling up, pausing at the top. Exhale to open, inhale to close. Exhale to open, inhale to close. One more. And close, and then roll back down. Good guys, keep it going, okay? Let's make this one your last one. So really tuck that pubic bone to the belly button. Roll up. Good, hold. Squeeze the glutes, open the knees, inhale to close. Squeeze the glutes harder as you open and close. Open, close and rolling and rippling down one vertebrae at a time. Perfect, well done guys. Okay, our next exercise is called horse kick. So this is still gonna work our hamstrings and our glutes. So you're gonna get a nice burn out of these ones. So coming up onto all fours once again. Our spine is in neutral, our T-zone is on nice and tight. I want you to extend one leg out behind you and then bend it on in. So that's an exhale to extend and reach and then an inhale to bend. Good, and let's keep going. So guys, with this exercise, I want most of the weight to be in your knee. I don't want you to be weight bearing in those hands. So we don't wanna see our body weight forwards or our elbows locking. So weight in the knee. When you extend your leg behind you, you really need to think about ribs to the hips so we don't see our back arching. Now, if you go up too high, sometimes that's when our back will arch. So it's not about how high you go, it's about holding the rib to hip connection, squeezing your glutes, and making sure the movement is nice and controlled. There's actually nothing moving in your body except for the leg that's bending and extending. Good, all right. Now you should also feel the glute of the leg of the knee that's pushing into the floor working pretty hard because that glute is stabilizing you. It's working really hard too. Good. Now exhale to lengthen your leg away. Remember, think ribs to the hips as much as you can. Remember none of this. So lift those abdominals up, good. Less than 20 seconds to go, guys. Beautiful, elbows unlocked, they're nice and soft. Shoulders drawn down and back. And your eye gaze, just looking down in between your hands where your mat is. Beautiful, good. All right, guys, let's do one more. Exhale to extend and in. Don't rest for too long. Let's get that leg straight back out there and we're pulsing now, okay? Good, guys, keep that leg up the heart of your hip if you can, but remember, ribs to the hips, no arching in the back, that's your number one priority. Good. Squeeze both glutes, not just the glute of the leg that's up in the air. Let's keep reaching through those toes. Fantastic, guys, and remember, weight is in the knee, not the hands. You're doing so well. Can you reach that leg just a little bit longer? 
Excellent, keep that eye gaze looking down between your hands on the mat. Good guys, all right, don't let that leg drop. Yes, it's getting tired, but try and keep it up. Fantastic guys, just a little bit longer to go. Lift up through that T-zone, good ribs to hips. Three, two, and one. Great, nice guys, all we need to do is swap on over sides. So back onto all fours, make sure the hands are underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, T-zone on and spine in neutral. Exhale, let's extend that leg away. Inhale to bend the knee. Exhale to extend and reach. And then inhale to bend. Perfect, good. Okay, so exactly the same things we focused on the other side. Where is your weight? The majority of your weight is in your knee, not your hands. Good, so let's keep those elbows unlocked. Good, now let's think about the rib to hip connection. Remember, we don't wanna see this or this. Ribs to hips the whole time. Keep those abdominals really engaged. Lovely. Keep the weight in the knee. You'll feel that glute working nice and hard too. Great job, guys. And keep the neck nice and long and relaxed. We don't wanna look forwards. So remember, look just straight down in between where your hands are. Beautiful. Continue to move nice and slow, guys. Let's extend the leg, even add in a slight pause before you bend that knee. Good. You're doing so well. Great guys, just a few more to go on this side now. So remember, use your breath to help you now when you're getting tired. Exhale, lengthen and stretch that leg behind you. Inhale, bend the knee. Good. Lovely guys, squeeze both bottoms a little bit harder now. Not just the leg that you're lifting, make sure you're digging that knee into the floor as well. You've got 20 seconds to go now. Good guys, check that your weight hasn't crept into your hands, pop it back into that knee. Excellent, and again, think about that rear to hip connection. Let's do two more. Exhale to extend, inhale to bend, last one, and in. Good, don't rest though, let's get that leg back up. Let's start pulsing. Guys, this is your last exercise. So think ribs to the hips. Keep thinking about where your weight placement is, remember? It's in the knee that's connected to the floor. Really light touch with those hands on the mat and the elbows are unlocked. Good guys, can you extend and reach your leg a little bit more to the wall that's behind you? That's it, good, and keep pulsing up and down. Not a huge movement and we wanna keep it nice and high if possible but not at the expense of losing the rib to hip connection. So keep that connected, keep lifting the abdominals up so they're not dropping to the floor. Good, lovely guys, breathe. Keep the neck nice and long. Remember, no looking there, looking straight down in between those hands. Good, three, two, and one. Guys, you are all done for your workout today. So let's cool down with a stretch. Think you deserve a glute stretch. So we've got a glute stretch prone here today. So we're gonna take one leg out in front of us, like a 90 degree angle. And then we're gonna extend the other leg behind, okay? T-zone nice and tight, spine in neutral. I want you to lean forwards and come down onto your forearms. Now we're gonna breathe naturally here, in through the nose and out through the mouth. If this position is a little hard for you, you can come up onto your hands here and still feel the stretch, okay? Good, holding it here, guys. Let's try and make sure that we're not keeping all of our weight on one bottom cheek or over, over the other one. So try and keep the hips relatively square to the wall in front of you. Good, extend the back leg behind you as much as possible and hold. One more breath and relax. Good, let's swap sides. So just swapping the legs over, front leg up at a 90 degree angle, back leg extended behind you, lifting up, and then leaning forwards if you can. T-zone on nice and tight, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Remember, if this is a little bit too much for you, come back up, sit up nice and tall, still feel the stretch. Good, now lengthen the leg back behind you. You feel a bit of a stretch through the front of the hip there as well, which is awesome. Good, and keep the weight fairly evenly distributed between those hips. Good, inhale, and exhale, and you are done.
Guys, great job with that workout today. You're all finished.